when I came here, at first I had a lot of fear because I was a person that roamed the outback and all of a sudden I found myself in closed walls. But by coming here, those fears were quickly disappeared because the staff helping hand and our volunteers and the people that care for us soon make you feel at ease. And before you know where you are, you feel as if you're a member of the team. I've worked for Helping Hand for 10 years. Uh, I work in aged care in the community and I go and visit clients in their own homes and help them with different tasks that they can't manage anymore. Personal care, uh, showering, dressing, shopping, uh, cleaning the home, anything that they might require to stay at home and live independently. I love my job um, because you know that you're doing something useful for somebody and you're making their life a little bit better and a little bit easier. Most of my friends think that I spend most of my time on the not so glamorous side of personal care but it's really a very small part of what we do. It's just not the biggest thing in the aged care world. You can talk to them, you just do so much more with them than just clean them, change them. I've been with Helping Hand for three years, yep, and um, I came here as an opportunity to also give back to the community. I've always enjoyed working with people. We rely on volunteers to support the activities and my thoughts on it is that uh, if we don't go to them, we're not respecting the duties that our volunteers do. I help out a little bit behind the scenes, um, doing um, surveys, one-to-ones, chatting to them, finding out how they are, um, helping them come down to um, activities, helping them to go back at different times, um, they say. There's, there's a lot that can be done, but there's a lot that gets done behind the scenes as well. So. Um, as a volunteer, I like to participate where I know I have some value. And in truth, you can fall in love with a few of them, yeah. This facility is second to none, I feel. I have genuinely been in palliative outreach as a volunteer for 17 years. I have seen many care facilities and this one beats them all. It is an open, happy environment. The staff are excellent and when I have spoken to residents with regards to their care, they always tell me that the food is the best, the place is spotless and the staff are very caring. I am a carer for my husband, Vince, who has early onset dementia. It just become too hard, I had to go to work, helping hand, pick him up, you know, help me with transport, they do respite. Without them I wouldn't be able to be doing what I'm doing. Once you get a diagnosis, your name gets around, I think, you know, with all the different organisations from um, Alzheimer's are saying that. Um, I basically just got a call from them to say if I needed um, anything or whatever. So I've made an appointment with um, a lady called Maria and we met up with her and ever since then we've sort of had some kind of help, you know, only small things at first, but as we progressed into the disease, we needed more help. So I don't know where I'd be without without this kind of help because um, unfortunately you lose a lot of friends with this disease. So not everybody's got a lot of support, and with, without this support, I just definitely wouldn't, we wouldn't be here standing here today. To start the conversation, call one three hundred six five three six hundred.